So there is a little bit of confusion that needs to be cleared up among the dreamers who are having these dreams because Patrick is basically accusing me of somehow sending the dreams through witchcraft and he believes that they're from Satan, which I, I believe there are a lot of them are from Satan and that's what I said a couple months ago to Amanda and Sherry, but Amanda and Sherry, and especially Amanda, said no. A Holy Spirit-filled believer cannot receive dreams from the devil. Because I was asking her, have you got to test the spirits? You're saying I've got an unclean spirit. You're saying God showed you this and that and this. Do you test any of this? No, I heard an audible voice that told me all my dreams are from God. Uh, and that was when, I mean, yeah. I, I was, <laughs> but um, they've got a fundamental disagreement about the source of the dreams. Now, she's been standing all along on the idea that God gave these dreams to correct me and uh, that um, I resisted the correction and blasphemed the Holy Spirit. So you got Lashar and Amanda saying that I'm, I'm rejecting the gifts of the Spirit and blaspheming the gifts of the Spirit by discounting these dreams because a Holy Spirit-filled believer can't receive a dream from Satan, so it had to be from God. Patrick is saying... No, these dreams were the result of my witchcraft, and Satan's the one given to them. So, that you know, that's when you throw the evidence out of the court. At that point, when you can't get the uh, people, you know, the the testimonies to agree on even the nature and the source of the evidence, it's thrown out of court. Um, so they do need to work that out. And then Patrick had this weird dream that Sherry was controlling. Amanda through a familiar spirit and he said that was a that dream was an attack from me somehow like <laughs> um, Now did I send that dream to Patrick? Well, then you have to ask is Patrick a spirit-filled believer and if so did God give him that dream or did Satan and if Satan could give him that dream and it was a result of witchcraft, couldn't some of the dreams that you guys are talking about be from the devil? The whole thing falls apart. Now, if you say, oh, no, it's witchcraft, then you have to undo everything you've said about all these dreams for the last five months. Okay. And number one. And number two, what is my motive for if I'm a false teacher and I'm coming in trying to secretly, you know, get people to believe that I believe the gospel they believe. What is my motive in giving people dreams that would lead them to the conclusion that I'm not a, uh, that I'm a false teacher or not a believer? That would undo my work. My nefarious scheme would be foiled. So the whole thing is really silly. And again, this is what it was like in the Middle Ages. This is, how do we know she's a witch? Well, she turned me into a newt. <laughs> a newt? I got better. They can't stick to their story. It doesn't matter. The, once I've decided you're a witch, once I've decided you're, you know, this or that, we're going to burn you. Um, that's what this is. This is just a witch hunt. And yet, I do believe there's something going on that's not from the Lord in all this, for sure. Uh, so, anyway, I just wanted to lay out this pretty glaring contradiction between y'all see if you can't figure out whether your evidence needs to be thrown out of court or um, if there's any shred of it that stands all right take care